This is a step-by-step -step guide to assemble the FPGBC. A bit joystick. I greatly enjoyed putting together my funny playing FPGBC, but as I said in my review, there were a couple things that I wish I knew before I put it together. I didn't put on the funny playing sticker that goes right here. Also, I cracked the case, so I decided to get a replacement kit using a different case and a new screen, and so I thought this was a perfect opportunity to put together a assembly video, step by step. I ordered Funny Playing's, this is their, they do have a kit for screwdrivers and con working on consoles. So a tri-wing screwdriver. First, I'm disassembling the old case and getting the components out. We have all the parts here. So there are two kinds of screws. There's a tri-wing and the Phillips. So normally they go here, here, and here. But I'm not going to do this one because this is the one that cracked the case. So, before I put it in, I'm going to pre-thread these. Third goes slow. Go back a little bit. Go a little bit more. Go back a little bit. Go a little bit more. I'm trying to get it down without having it crack the case. So I like that. And I'm gonna do this other one over here. I'm not going all the way down, but I'm just starting some grooves. Making sure to do even pressure. Go slow. That's going in quite nicely. Keep a little bit of light pressure on the top. Make sure that it doesn't strip. The other thing that I've heard is this sticker is for the battery. So some people thought that it was a little unseemly. And so I'm going to put this sticker to wrap around this battery. First things first for the assembly is the buttons. We have the start and select membranes. A button, B button. placement. D-pad the notch. The rubber membranes go over support holes to keep them in place. Don't forget to add the rubber button pads. Alright, so the speaker needs to be laid on. You put the O-ring gasket over the tip of the speaker. Tapping to make sure that it's on there. And then, placing it in there. So the speaker is sitting nice against the O ring. I feel the rubber going up and down. So I'm pleased with that. The motherboard that you don't want to touch the uh, screen to when testing. Placing the motherboard, aligning the holes. Use slow, constant, gentle pressure when screwing in the motherboards with the Phillips screws. Going slowly, a little bit of light pressure. Hoping that it's not going to crack the case. Ooh. Almost forgot to have this part, the audio connector, oh shoot. So the speaker needs to be set before to get the board down. So I'm making sure that the speaker is against the O-ring, taking the second Phillips screw. Alternate between tightening both sides. Make sure you are testing the D-pad and buttons as you do this. 
It's okay if they feel a little mushy until the case is fully together. Keep going slowly and evenly. You know, I'm thinking about putting the third screw in. Try and get that a little... If you're going to put the middle screw in, be very careful not to crack the case. Yay. Now the D-pad and buttons feel even tighter. Alright, ready to connect the speaker. You connect the speaker by pressing down after aligning the connectors and the threads. Tuck the wires away. Tuck the wires close to the speakers so they don't get pinched by the case. Please with that. The hair putting on the IR sensor. Putting on the power switch. Just align the external part of the power switch with the inner part of the power switch. Believe it or not, already put the uh, new case together. Checking the alignment. I'm going to move this cord a little bit. Make sure that it's tucked nice out of the way. Your last time to confirm that everything is fitting together well. Start by putting in the tri-wing screws and go evenly and slowly, but don't bring them to full tightness until the last part. Keep checking to make sure everything is still going together well before you get to hand tightening. Make sure you're using the proper tri-wing screwdriver and make sure that you're not stripping the screws. Check to make sure you're still happy with the case and buttons at this point. They should feel good and not mushy. Much better. If you chose one of the many transparent cases, now is an awesome time to wrap the battery with the big black sticker or with electrical tape. I initially got the smoky white and the smoky black and both cases were quite transparent. All right, let's get the screen on. So, the screen connector has a flap that goes up on the left to unlock. The screen connector. The screen connector is already open. Carefully remove the screen from the protective bag. Picking up the screen. Now, this is the part where we put this awesome sticker. The funny playing sticker goes on the strip below the screen. This is especially important if you have a transparent case because the copper parts of the screen are very visible without the sticker. Yeah, close enough. Carefully slip in the screen connector ribbon horizontally and evenly. Make sure you align it with both sides before trying to bring it in. Once you pushed it in, it's possible to pull it in to get it all the way connected. Then push down on the screen connector gate to lock the ribbon in place. Place a piece of paper or plastic under the screen to insulate it against shorting out the motherboard and to protect it. 
connect the battery by pressing the connectors into the port, black up, red down. Be careful to flip everything over to keep it together as a screen sandwich. Power it on to check the screen and the speaker. Nice! Now get ready to place the screen. Carefully pick up the screen, and then carefully remove the sticker backing on the sides of the screen. Angle the bottom of the screen so that it slips into the case evenly. Then press the sides of the screen to permanently affix the screen adhesive. Satisfyingly peel off the plastic screen film. So nice. Insert a cartridge that you're going to play as a test and place the battery cover. Test that bad boy with a cartridge. Balloon Kid! Oh yeah. All right, so, stickers. It's a little crazy that a completely bootleg Game Boy comes with official looking stickers. There is the serial number at the top underneath the cartridge. Then there is the convenient Nintendo service hotline sticker on the battery lid. And then finally, the Game Boy Color Product Info sticker on the middle. And now we are done. Just look at that glorious beauty. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Looks great. Plays great. Here is Spartan X. And here is Carpenter Gensan to try out the Game Boy Color Mode. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like this video, and don't forget to subscribe because we have new videos every Saturday and new streams every Wednesday. This is 8-Bit Joystick, stay awesome, play retro.